Are you stupid? It's gonna have a chemical reaction. Oh, don't go and do it! It's happening! Hold it. Thing where they go on the Stairmaster every single day for an hour. Oh boy, I'm almost halfway there. Bro, think about how good you're gonna feel after. Oh, you probably look like a fucking fart in your video. I look like a fucking fart. I gotta break some news to her. She's really not gonna like this. Everything's gonna be canceled. Everything's canceled. Like, what am I supposed to do now? This week was crazy. I climbed Mount Everest. I ate space food, and believe it or not, I got canceled. We're starting the week. We're starting the week off strong with the hot tub. It turns out Frank actually has um, really enjoyed the, the hot tub recently. Oh, Frank! Look at you in the hot tub. Yo, you're living, huh, buddy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His dog's Holly. Pot cake in and she didn't like it. Yeah, pot cake's not. Pot cake hates the water. Let's get in the water. She, Come on. We're gonna get in the water. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, run, pot cake. Cause you can get out if you wanted to, right? Now. Look at pot cake. You could be in here if you wanted. I can't believe the dog from the Bahamas doesn't even like the water. <laughs> Did you look at him trying to jump? I can do it. <laughs> Come on. Go again. Oh my feet. You got Come on, Frank. Let's go. Come on, man. Yo, that was actually really athletic, buddy. <laughs> she just slips. <laughs> when we were in the pool, we found out something really funny about Frank that he hates the waterfall. Look at his reaction. Oh yeah, this is so funny. We figured this out the other day on accident. Like, why does he hate it so much? Now it's time to have an MRE, which honestly, I didn't really know what that was. So thank you, editor, for explaining. We have MREs, which, Cameron, do you know what an MRE is? No, sir. Wait, ready actually, ready you email. don't? You look like you're ready for Boy Scouts. You don't even know what an MRE is? Boy Scouts. What is an MRE? Um, man. I think it says it on here. <laughs> Meal ready to eat. So, so this is basically military food, astronaut food, basically. Yeah, Astral military. Food. So like when you go to the military and, and stuff like that, you go through basic training, you like eat the You know what? Like everything you need to make a full meal is in there. So I got <laughs> crackers. I got a cinnamon bowl. <gasps> oh, no, Yo, no. what? That's Cameron right. got the good stuff. Shut up. Oh, I got uh, a chocolate protein drink. I mean, Do not overfill. That's what it says. I don't know why. Or something. Careful, Piper. Jesus. <laughs> Piper, no, that's like the one thing it could explode. No, no, no. no. What? <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> Piper, it's gonna have a chemical reaction. Oh, don't go and do it! It's happening! Hold it! Okay, no, you gotta pull it. Stop, 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 stop. I thought you said I filled it too much. What am I supposed to do about Get that? Get the water out. out. Let Pour it back. Cameron, do that, do that, do that. Careful, do not spill it. Oh my god, it feels really hot, actually. Yeah, oh, that's warm. really hot. Like How does that even happen? Starts. All right, also in here, they have gum, which I'm, I'm chewing. Sorry. Very good. And peanut butter and crackers. Okay. So I gotta try it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you eat literally expired stuff from our drawers. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually better. Come on, oh, you're yeah. a tough guy. Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. Oh my god, it's on fire. No, it actually is smoking, though. Is it really? After six minutes of this thing cooking, it started smoking. I was for sure it was gonna blow down the house. Wait, we should be doing this inside, right? That's okay? I think so. Did you eat these when you There's went There's literally smoke here? coming out of here. Love it. <laughs> okay, what's happening? Oh my God. Uh, still cooking, taking a really long time, so I guess it's time for a dance party? I've taken it out, it's been boiling, so careful where you hold it. But this is it, that you can also add like the toppings and stuff, but she's just gonna try the cooked part and see how it is. Or she can like crunch and put in it. <laughs> it's so hot. Burn the hell out of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was a lot of work. Yeah, that was a lot of work for that. I mean, if you're hungry, I mean, yeah, it's worth it, but. Damn. All right, cool. I would rather not eat than spend that much time eating, like. <laughs> um, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad. Like if I had to eat it, and if I was in space, I would eat it, but not on down planet Earth. If you're not, follow Piper on all her socials because she'll tell you about stuff. We're giving away. Okay, so a pair I actually have a pair of these already um, that are blue. So now I have a pink and a blue one, which I'm actually funny. so happy about. That is like crazy. And I was gonna like, I think I, I was gonna be like, I was gonna give these to Ryan, but he says he doesn't want pink ones. So, but look, it matches yeah. so well. All right, Piper literally is so hyped about this thing. That I Absolutely ridiculous. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for so long. 
This is stupid. We, okay, so you guys know, I mean, I don't know if you know, but my side of TikTok is like all gym stuff, and there's this challenge that girls and boys, but girls are doing where they go on the Stairmaster every single day for an hour. I'm not gonna do every single day, but I am gonna try it and see if I can do it. I love testing myself. I love putting myself to, into a new challenge. A challenge is always, you gotta you gotta conquer that challenge. Look, I'm all for so, it. You do your thing, you have fun. I'm so, no, you have to. I don't me. wanna do this. You have to. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I will do it. Okay, and then look at how cute these are. I didn't even plan. I actually have never like worked out in an actual gym before, so that's like, yeah, no, you know, we're going to think, like a public. You think you think that you're scared? Me scared. Nah, dude. We'll be fine. LA Fitness, CBI. Okay, so I'm so excited because I'm about to go to a real gym. I don't think I've ever been to a real gym. I think the only kind of real one was in Australia, but this is a real gym, and I'm going there, and I have a plan. There's these new people on my For You page that just, they have like a gym in their two house. two kids? Oh. No, it's not kids. Oh my god, there is a kid though, like a teen and a like younger boy. Yeah, like, like the really together. scrawny kid. Like, I can't do this. I and love he's that like, kid. Come on, do it. I can't. Welcome back to Piper Rock Hill Fitness Channel. This is the stupidest challenge. Actually, I'm so excited. I have one of been. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I don't think I've ever been on a stairmaster, and I always see it, and I'm always like kind of jelly. It's awful. Stairmaster. I'm probably gonna start off pretty slow because I'm more of a, like a slower person. I like to make the muscles like slow it down. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to burn. I'm not trying to do cardio right now. That, that's what this is. We're basically like climbing a no, freaking skyscraper. Yes, like we might as well just go on a hike for an hour. No. Piper's got the quads for it. The quadzilla over here. And uh, yeah, what? that guy's going to the gym. Look at him. I was so ready. We got there. I was pumped. I got this and then the freaking editor didn't bring his credit card. Are you kidding me? So we had to run all this is Piper's first public gym, and this gym is actually like okay. really nice. I'm this is the stupidest thing I think we've ever so done. I'm excited right now. One hour on the clock. Okay, how do I start it? Go. Okay, go. Three, two, one. Alright, here she goes. Starting off, I just want to say I was so happy. Like, look at my face. Like, I was ready for this. I was ready to get that BBL allegations. You guys are looking up. I am. Look at me, I'm dancing, I'm so excited, it's been 10, oh, never mind, it's only been five minutes. <laughs> and guys, just look at me, I'm so not sweaty, and I don't even think I sweat, so, I got this in the back. <sighs> oh, trust me, girlfriend, this is not even close to as sweaty as you're gonna be. This sucks, this is stupid. This was also really nice because I had my phone, I was getting TikToks done, I was working, I was being a boss little bitch while literally killing my likes. This is really working. This upper part, the shelf right here, that is the good stuff. <laughs> I think I was like 20 minutes in and I'm pretty sure I'm losing my mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh boy, I'm almost halfway there. Bro, think about how good you're gonna feel after. You probably look like a f***ing fart in your business video. You look like a fucking fart. I feel like being a personal trainer would be a really bad job, honestly. And you teach people and they probably are like unsatisfied. Y'all, I recommend having freaking headphones because when I took them off, I just started talking about... I, I didn't even know how to was filming. Think about what it's gonna feel like when you're done. You're gonna be like, what the f***? Bro, come on. I can be a total gym bro. I said bro like 10 times. Finally, after forever, we're halfway there. Three minutes. After a while, I made it to... You're at 2,000 steps. Bro! <laughs> after 40 minutes, I started sweating like I've never sweat in my whole entire life. My head literally looks wet. It looks like I just drenched myself. I look like Shrek. I actually... Almost done. You've done 3,000 3, steps. I don't think I've ever seen myself look like this before. Look like you went swimming in the hot, boiling water. You know how good we're gonna feel after this? In this last moment, I was holding on for dear life. I was holding on to those bars. But of course, my arms were so slippery, so they were slipping down. Oh, that was dreadful. It was good. Let's go outside so we can talk. Your, your quads are gonna, dude, I feel like they're pumped right now. We should do a pump check. You know how to do a little a little Sam Sue leg pump check? Stand over there. Let's see the quads, pump them up. There you go, ooh, look at that. 
Look at your Rizzo quads. I gotta fix them. Look at that. Look at those Piper quads. Besides how sweaty I was and legit wet, I felt so amazing. I was on cloud freaking nine. She's really on a high. Look at how red her face is, dude. Piper is literally saying like she would come back tomorrow. I would. Like, she had a good time. What if we did like a daily challenge, a daily vlog, where it's just Piper working out every day like you're Sam Sulek? Yeah, I would. Oh my god, my hat is drenched in sweat. I wasn't sweating that much. There's like, I have a sweat belly button going on. You were walking on the treadmill and it stopped. But when you stopped, you had 2263 steps. And then you ended with 100 or 1,768. So you walked a total of 4,031 steps. You walked 191 or 192 stories. Like you climbed really? that many stories up. Like, okay, this is a Sam Sulek car talk, a Piper okay, well, Sulek. For real, you can actually do it. You can actually do anything you put your mind to. It just depends on the way that you go into it. You know, you can't be sitting there the whole entire time saying how much it sucks because guess what? Then you're gonna keep saying to yourself how much it sucks. Me personally, I love doing it so much, just like even when I'm doing it. Yeah, there was probably a moment where I was like, oh my God, I literally don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, but I kept going because this is the feeling that you get after it. So it's summertime, right? And and what do you have to say to people who like maybe have like a fitness goal? Like some people will do it for a week and then that's it. Like what do you what do you got for those people watching it's it summer 21, break? It takes 21 days to make a routine. So I think that the wrong way to go about it is like cutting out all sugar and cutting out all carbs and stuff like that because that's just not a way to enjoy life. So I just want to say, educate yourself on that specific thing. If you want to build your core, if you want to build your glutes, if you want to build your legs, your arms, you have to educate yourself on that, okay? Don't just go into it thinking that you know what you're doing because you don't know what you're doing. And it takes, you know, some time. But you have the internet. And you're just, like if you want to learn how to do something, like go on YouTube you and like have the be resourceful though. Like know who you're watching. You know, going through a breakup, a loss, you know, just not feeling like you have enough friends. I think personally working out just cures me from all of that. Now you have to make sure you don't hurt yourself though because then you might be really upset. I would be really upset. If you guys want to be the best and want to feel the best within yourselves, you have to do stuff that other people don't do. You have to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. It's summer break, so you're not gonna see a lot of people from school, so you wanna go back looking like a freaking baddie, make sure you elevate yourself in a different level. Heal yourself from the inside out, because it will show. I promise you guys, it will show if you heal yourself from the inside out. Because the inside doesn't matter. What matters? You know, it, people say they don't have enough time for this. I was saying this literally all in that last week, like, oh, I don't have enough time to work. Like, I wasn't saying that, because you always have time to work out. It's about what you prioritize. If you prioritize your kids, your cats, your family, your f f eating, that's what you're prioritizing. But you always have time to work out. Yes. That 30 minutes of you sitting on your phone just scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through TikTok, you could have been doing something. And that's okay. But you can't say you don't have time because you have time. You just choose to take that time and do something different with it. My um, hair is really greasy. And I think there's no way to fix that. I think I'm going to have to just wash it. Oh, it's been two days and actually like the day after my legs were so sore and today I actually worked out which felt really really well and I honestly think that like doing the Stairmaster for an hour like I was able to lift like a lot heavier weights today for some reason and I was like maybe like I don't know like it kind of opened my horizon and I definitely want to do that again when I come back from Bali. So uh, Piper's packing for the trip that uh, they've been planning all week and she's really excited but uh I gotta break some news to her. She's really not gonna like this. Everything's gonna be canceled. Like I was just saying, we're about to go on a trip to Folly, but I got some bad news. Piper. Hi. Um, what you packing? Stuff. What you packing for? By the way, we yeah. haven't even mentioned what this trip is this whole week. What is happening? We are going to South Carolina, Folly Beach to be specific. Yeah, you're going to Folly Beach because... It's Piggy's birthday. That's right, and Piggy's ashes are in the ocean. At, and I love it there. At Folly Beach. So, um, yeah, I hate to tell you this, but I think your trip might be canceled. Why would it be canceled? Um, well, your mom is really... Have you canceled? No, 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 no. Like, your mom's really messed up right now, Piper. Like, she's crying. She said, like, we might need to even take her to the hospital. She's really? having so much pain. But it's okay, she just goes through these little things. No, 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 Piper, she's like, I might have to take her to the hospital. She's literally dying. 
I'm not kidding. She's like, not okay, dying. okay. Don't like, this joke isn't something that. to joke she's about for fun. But, like, seriously, though, she's in so much pain. Like, I don't... don't say that she's dying. That's not funny. Okay, well, your mom's serious about not. What is going to the hospital going to do? They can't do anything to put her in the hospital. Okay, but that doesn't mean you're going on your flight. So, next but week. She'll be better. She does this. She'll get better in a second. Like, she literally. You want to go talk to her? Go talk to her. I don't want to go talk to her. I want to pack because we have okay, a blanket. Okay, look, I'm I'm serious. Not trying to prank you. I swear on my life. This like I never said you were trying to prank. Okay, me. I'm just my mom's in pain, and I already feel like awful for dragging her down there. Okay, but I think you might seriously have to cancel your trip. You're not gonna go. I can't just cancel my trip. I literally have gotten. I can't. What? I'm gonna have to cancel the car that we rented. I'm gonna have to cancel the house that we got. I'm gonna have to cancel like reservations. Like I can't do that. My trip got freaking canceled. Everything's canceled. Like, what am I supposed to do now? I was so psyched. You know when you're like looking for about, you know when you're looking forward to something for so long and then it doesn't happen and you just want to end your life? That's how I feel like. Well, I don't, I don't know. If she, maybe if she feels better, but literally, I, I don't think it's happening. Well, okay. Like, I, I wouldn't unpack, but I would just probably just chill, like, seriously. We literally, if I don't, I'm about to, we have to leave soon, though. I don't know what to tell you, I'm... And when the editor told me this, my heart stopped. I feel so bad for my mom, and we already paid for everything, so it's like literal money just being flushed down the toilet. So this has happened several times before where my mom was like, I don't know if we're going to be able to go to South Carolina and she always said that she was going to pull through but if you guys didn't know, this has happened to her before and one time we had to stay in Georgia for like four weeks because she couldn't get on a plane because her arm hurt so bad and I was pretty nervous. I wanted to be back here to be with like my friends and it was just like kind of a whole situation and I didn't really believe Hunter but now I went downstairs and my mom is actually not doing good at all and she really doesn't think that she's gonna be able to make it and I completely understand her. I would never want to make her any more uncomfortable than she already is because this nerve pain is something like it's so deep inside of her and like she can never get, I, I will never understand the pain. I can't like sit around and mope around about it because like that's just not the right thing to do. I have to make her feel as good as possible about it. You know, I don't want to make her feel guilty or anything like that but I am really, really upset because I've been looking forward to this for a while and you know, I wanna just get there and I've been looking forward to it for a while. So I guess I'm not going to South Carolina, unfortunately, not for my piggy's, not for piggy's birthday or not to see Orion and uh, I, but I guess that's today's video. So for now, I guess we're just gonna have to wait until what happens next, but until then, my trip is canceled. Hey guys, we changed our minds and we're about to miss our flight like actual legit. We're supposed to be boarding at like 11.30 and it is 10.30 right now. It's okay, what we do, what we do. You got the latest possible flight for today. And I still, I called it. I was like, we're still gonna be late. And guess what? Literally, we're the still flight late. is at like 11.59. That's like as late as it gets. Gang gang, you know what it is. I hope I can sleep well on the flight though. But anyways, we're finally getting to go. My mom's arm doesn't feel much better, but she's gonna thug it out and I really appreciate that. So, please wish us a safe flight and I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bro.